Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. As you can tell from the title of this video, I've been on a bit of a Marcus Mumford kick. His newest release, which is called Self-Titled. Like, the album is called Self-Titled. Um, it's really great. Like, really cool production. Uh, but I want to go back to a Mumford & Sons moment and use it as an illustration for this thing that I say all the time, which is, everyone together now, get it right at the source. That's right, get it right at the source. G-I-R-A-T-S, which is dumbest acronym of all time. So the song is Babel, which is the title track to the album Babel. Um, and I was realizing the other day, I've been playing this guitar. It's a fairly inexpensive Fender. Um, and I didn't like it up until... I started playing with a thinner pick and set it to open tuning. So it's in dadgad right now. Okay? And I just happened to cross playing this song, and I realized that's the sound of this song. So if you remember the song, it goes like this. The intro is... Anyway, so that's that's the sound. That's what I hear when I hear the record, and that's what it sounds like when I play it on this guitar. Now imagine that I... Let's flip this around. Let's say, yeah, let's say I hired you to record a song for me. And I said, I want the op intro guitar to sound like the opening guitar in Babel. Or maybe we're going to try to do a, an exact cover, but I want it to have that same tone, that same vibe, that same energy, all of that. And so you figure out how to play it, but then let's say you play it like this. Played all the same notes. But what changed? Two big things changed. I changed the rhythm. I added more of a swing to it, so it's like... And I also played it way, 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 way softer. And that's completely different. It's not the same tone at all. Yes, I played the same notes. Yes, it was the same guitar, same everything, but completely the wrong tone. So from a get it right at the source standpoint, didn't do it right even though we could check all the boxes of mic placement and guitar was fairly in tune and I played all the correct notes and I played in time, but I didn't play the right tone, right? I feel like I said tone weird there, tone, which reminds me of that episode. There's, a, there's an outtakes of The Office where Phyllis is, is talking to Angela and says, I, I want to understand what you're saying, but it's hard for me when you use that Anyway, um, so you got to get the performance. When I say get it right at the source, yeah, I'm talking about microphone, but I'm talking about a lot of things like the performance itself. So instead of this, Babel, Babel, look at me now, crumbling down. Like that, that's not wrong. That could be maybe a cool, chill cover, but if you were going for the same energy or even the same exact tone as before, you've got to kind of smack your guitar and play a little recklessly. You've got to do it like this. I cry, Babel, Babel, look at me. <laughs> Every time I try to sing like him, my throat, I can't do it. Fantastic voice. So there you go. That is a just a very real example of get it right at the source. Hopefully, if you've never thought of it that way, maybe you've heard me say get it right at the source and you thought all I'm talking about is mic placement. I'm not. That's a piece of a much bigger puzzle. We got to get all the different things right at the source because everything downstream from here is dependent on us doing this part right. So while that seems like I'm putting a lot of pressure on you, in a sense, I am, but at the same time, I'm giving you freedom because if you get this right, the rest of the process is a lot easier. If you think mixing is difficult, it's probably because you haven't done this part right. Get this part right, mixing becomes a breeze. And when it comes time to mix, you'll need a process. So if you haven't checked out my five-step mix guide, go get it right now. Go to fivestepmix.com. It's absolutely free. I'll see you in the next one. I cry, baby, baby, look at me now.